we back again with another one of those lovely videos man but this time last video we talked about the ladies this time we're gonna talk about the fellas um you know we gotta we gotta do better man so you know one hand wash the other man like that's, that's what I'm here to do, you know. And if I get on the ladies, I gotta get on the men. And, you know, let's go. What do you think that men are doing right as far as um, public perception? Um, how they're conducting themselves and how they're treating each other and, you know, just as a whole. Horrible. I feel men are uh, very egotistic. Like, um, it's all about themselves, you know? Like I said in the last video, you know, men, they just, they mess things up and it's like, oh well, they don't care for fixing it. They don't want to make things right. They don't want to make things better. They literally want to end up dead or in jail. Um, they don't want to be leaders. They don't want to be intelligent. Uh, or, yeah, they don't want to be intelligent, I'm sorry, or um, helpful in any sort. They don't want to be holy. They don't want to do anything that's uh, challenging to the spirit. Do you feel as if men have led women astray and down the wrong path? Uh, women as a whole or just on average? As a whole. Yes. I mean, how could we, how could we say no to that? Like, that's so true because when you think of a, a man and how he treats a woman, it's terrible, you know. They um, they mistreat them. They cuss them out. They uh, overly sexualize them and stuff like that, and uh, degrade them and put them down and things like that. Uh, they don't do anything to lift their spirits, you know. That's not every man, but I'm saying like majority of men, we do that. What do you think men could change about themselves that would make them more productive as a whole? To start truly believing in God. It's the only way. The only way out of this thing is to truly believe in God. That's for men and women, but uh, men, we're talking to you guys right now. You gotta believe in God, you know? I believe, like, man, you gotta stop being suckers. And when I say suckers, I mean like um, cowards. Start being a man, you know? It's like y'all carry the sword, but you won't swing it for the right reasons. You know what I mean? Like you, you do it for vengeance and things like that. You do it for uh, self gain and monetary, monetary gain and things like that. You won't do it uh, to save another life. You won't risk your life to save someone else or a nation for the people like they did back then. How would you define the word man? Um, a holy person first, uh, strong, smart, wise, hard worker, uh, father. And I know you said how you, how will you describe it, but it's so much that you put into being uh, a man to where it's like, it's, a, it's long, like it's drawn out, you know? And that's why we probably fell off that, um, that path because it's very narrow, it's super narrow. It is, it is. Um, if you could tell men one thing that you think would make them change, what would it be? Um, to love yourself. Love yourself, man, so you can love others. You know, I think when these guys look in the mirror, they hate themselves. Like, they hate themselves because they're so hateful in real life. It's like, I know that these guys, when they look in the mirror, they just want to crack the mirror and they want it to shatter because the things that they're doing, they're not happy. These guys are not happy. Y'all know y'all not happy. I'm, I'm a dude, I'm a, I'm, come on man. Like, you know we're not happy as a whole. Like, we, we're we upset. And we're upset because we don't have control over anything. We don't have control over our wives, our house. We don't have control over this country, this world. You know what I mean? And uh, we don't even have control over our own lives. So we, we have to start being in control, but the the right way, not in control the wrong way. And y'all know what the wrong way is because we can see it, it's obvious. We know that the majority of men, um, African American or other races as well, um, grow up in a household without a father. Mm -hmm. And that has a huge impact and effect on their life. Mm -hmm. um, what would you tell a man uh, that would encourage him to be able to overcome that? To 
like I said, believe in God because I didn't have a father either. My my father, he, he died of drugs, you know. He left me here by myself hanging, you know. Uh, he he um, died when I was like at least 10 years old, like, but he wasn't in my life. So he had 10 years to be in my life and make a difference, but he, he chose drugs. But then again, you know, uh, Jesus, he didn't have a father either, you know. So uh, if Jesus can do it, I can do it. And it's other males that haven't had a father and um, they, you know, they made something of themselves. You can do it too. That's just a, don't use that as a crutch. You know, a lot of dudes don't have fathers. A lot of people don't have fathers. A lot of ladies don't have fathers. We have to do better. You know, if you if you if you think that's holding you back, you know, you're very sad and things like that. Be a good father to your children. You don't have them and then leave because what are you showing them? It's a vicious cycle. I think like men, we have to find a better way to live. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, because the way we're living is so destructive. And um, we're so spiteful and hateful towards one another to where it's like we can be hateful and spiteful towards children and women. Like, when did it? When have it ever been like that, yo? Like, we don't appreciate a woman and we don't appreciate a child. You know, we want to be lustful. We want, you know, all the the good things that come with it. But when it's bad, we run. We run. We have to stop running, you know? Uh, people back then, they had a reason to run. Those guys that was, you know, being enslaved and things like that, they had a reason to run. You know, but most of them didn't run. They took it, you know, like real men. Now, a days, these guys, they're crying. <laughs> they're crying about being a damn rapper or a, a basketball player, a movie actor. Like, you know, they, oh, my life's so hard because I didn't make it, so let me start blaming it on everybody else but myself. You need to start taking responsibility for your own actions. You're responsible. Can't nobody make you do nothing. You know what I mean? Only you. Can't nobody physically make you do nothing. Not yet until they start doing this technology crap. But we that's another that's on another video. But you have to be responsible for what you do. You know what I mean? Stop being followers. Be a leader. Be smart, man. Stay, you know, stand up for yourself, but have some uh be rational. You know what I mean? Be rational towards people. You guys learn to wave and smile. Stop trying to, all y'all, stop the hard shit. Like, we just gonna keep it real. Stop trying to be hard. Just cause you fought somebody on camera, that doesn't mean you hard cause you won a fight, cause you shot somebody. So what? Everybody has. What, like, that makes you different how? You know what I mean? That makes you different how? You're just gonna be another statistic. You're gonna be dead or in jail. Could we change that please? Could we be more powerful? Could we be more knowledgeable? Could we help each other? Could we hug each other? Us black dudes especially. Give me a hug. You know, when you see me, give me a hug. I don't need your mean mug. We've been doing that. Give me a hug. You know what I mean? Give me a strong handshake. Let's be men. Let's be men at the end of the day. Let's do something positive. Let's do something worth doing. Let's stop being suckers and punks and cowards and running away from everything. We always run. We run, we've been running from police, we've been running from good women that really want to be with us, we've been running from children, we've been running from God, we've been running from ourselves. All you do is run, 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 run. Stand up like a man sometimes and let's get this, let's get this world back in order before God come and wipe us out again. What do you think is the most detrimental quality that a man can have? Detrimental? Mm -hmm. When he don't uh, believe in God. When a man stop believing in God, there's no hope. There's no hope for nothing. You know what I mean? There's no hope for nothing when a man stop believing in God. Because once you stop believing in God, you're bound to do anything. And a man that, you know, is bound to do anything, he doesn't think. You know, he's, he's very, uh, he's delusional, you know, and distraught mentally. Like, a lot of us have had these trauma events in our life, you know, and we can't get over those nightmares. You know, and we need 
something in place to let us know it's, it's going to be okay because a person that have been uh you know beaten and battered and that have lost homeboys that have lost someone they really cared about uh, when someone else says it's going to be okay, it's like, no, it's not, you know, because they're human. They bleed like you. That's why God, he's a spirit. He's not a human, you know, so we have to start believing again. And I think once we believe in God the way we're supposed to, not to put another race down, Israelites, once we believe in God truly again, then we'll be okay. Um, if you had to tell men one thing, that would help them have a better relationship with a woman, what would that be? To be understanding. You know, I think we don't... We I don't, knew there was a good reason I married you, but go ahead. You know. <laughs> but we don't, um, we don't understand women at all. We understand that we're lust, lusting after them. Um, we don't understand them. We don't even take the time to listen. We just talk, 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 talk. And then they can be like, well, recite to me back what I said. Could you tell me? And we have no idea what they was talking about. That's because we don't listen. And how could you heal a woman and help a woman if you don't listen and you don't even know her problems? You guys don't even know their fears. You guys don't even know what makes them happy. You guys don't even know what makes them sad. You know, you think, oh, I'm doing the right thing when you, you're doing the wrong thing, you know, but you guys judge your relationship off of what other people are doing. That's stupid, you know? You're in a relationship with her. You should know everything about her. Forget what a next girl got to say or some, you know, one of your exes or what you see on TV or in real life. That stuff don't matter. Pay attention to your woman. And once you pay attention to your woman, everything will make sense because you'll know her. Um, if a man has a child with a woman and the woman doesn't want the child, to, the father to be involved in the child's life, how would you tell a man to handle that? Well, that's not fair, but what I would tell him is to always actively be involved. Always fight for your child. Never leave him by itself. You know the feeling, right? So why would you do that to him? You always fight. It doesn't matter if you don't like her, or she cheated, or whatever it is. You know, always fight for your, 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 your son or your daughter. Never leave them in this world by themselves. Ever. So go about it the legal way. Always go about it the legal way because you obviously you're not doing it the spiritual way. Um, if you have to serve in papers or whatever, whatever you got to do to be that father that I'm talking about, that good man I'm talking about, you go that way because women always do that. They try to keep the children away from the men because um, she's like emotionally scarred or she's mad or jealous that, you know, you wanted to take your relationship elsewhere. So she's going to torture you, especially a father that honestly care about his child. She's going to torture him. She's going to use that against him. Um, what would you tell men about being faithful? To do it. It's not that hard. It's like if a woman is doing everything you ask, except for things that, like, doesn't make sense and that's very abstruse. Um, if she's doing, you know, what God told her to do, why would you need another woman? It doesn't make sense. Every woman have the same private part. Every woman have, uh, you know, boobs, titties, whatever y'all want to call them, have a butt. Every woman got the same stuff. Nothing is different. The only thing different is that your mind, you're coming up with this uh, illusion in your mind that this feels better or this looks better. You know, it, that's all false. You know, at the end of the day, when, when someone dies, all bones are bones. Nobody is dying with metal bones. They all, everybody's the same. So that's just an evil act. When men and women cheat, it's just an evil act. You know, if you want another woman, when you're supposedly in love with this lady, you're just an evil person. I feel you're being evil. What if the woman isn't doing any, everything that you ask or everything that she's supposed to be doing? And you ask her? Yes. And you let her know that's what you want? Yes. 
then you have to, that's something you, you got to sit down and, and talk about it. There's, there's ways around it. There's women out there that they literally like have threesomes and things like that to, to make a man happy. You know, women do go out their way. Women do things we would never do. You know, I, I can't agree to that. Like threesome, yo, like, come on, man, it's crazy. Uh, but a woman to do it, a woman like, come on, Bonnie and Clyde. You know what I mean? Women, women have shown more heart than men. Period. Like, and we know this. We but know what if this. she's just absolutely willing to not do it? And it's something that you really desire. But it have to be like, um, it have to, it have to be in that respect level. You know what I mean? It have to be, you know, yeah, it have to be, you have to equate the thing. Like you can't just come up with some crazy, like fantasy, you know what I mean? Like, it depends on what it is because you can't cross that um, line of uh, morals and standards because you got to have those too. That's the only way to become a strong woman and keep your womanhood. Um, what is the most encouraging thing that you could say to a man right now? Stay strong. God built us to be strong and strong comes with a lot of um, derivatives, you know, uh, are things that derives from strong and strength. Uh, you, you know, God he made us smart. He made us wise. He gave us the discernment. He gave us um, the willpower. He gave us a belief system. He put something literally in place for us to believe, to, you know, reassure us that we are men. We are the head. We're not over him, but we, we are over the earth. You know, we, we, we are supposed to be leaders. You know, he gave us that number one ability. And we have to take that and we have to be prideful and we have to uh, be more loving and, and caring and, and, and understanding because he put that in us too. And, you know, so, yeah, man, y'all y'all stop being suckers, man. Y'all stop. I'm trying to be as nice and as rational as I can because I want to bleep, 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 bleep. Because, you know, but, you know, I, I want to come across the right way. It's not always going to be this nice. Trust me. Today, I'm just, you know, I'm chilling. But, uh, yeah, man, let's do good, man. Let's come together. You know, let's help each other. You know, if you're a rapper, put another rapper on, man. Like, because that's what I'm going to do if I decide to rap. It just depends on how this world continues going. If you're a hooper, put somebody on. You know what I mean? If you, whatever you are, you making a lot of money, share the wealth, man. Like, be a real dude. You know, it don't matter what color, help. And like, I don't care if you in the stocks and bonds, you know, you know about it, put your man on, help him, put him in the game. Let him get some money too. Let him eat too. Y'all stop being selfish. Uplift one another. Definitely uplift one another, man. Tell, tell the next man he can do it. You know what I mean? Let him know that. Stop thinking about yourself all the time. That's all I got for y'all though, man. But this has been a good video. And we're going to come back with more and more and more and more and more. Like, we definitely going to, you know, try to change this thing, man, and uh, get this system going in a different direction, man. Trust me, the next one is going to be just being jelly. She going to do some, some uh, I guess you could call it interviews, because I'm going to ask her some in-depth questions and some deep questions. We're going to have some more fun, man. But your boy is out. And I want y'all to start calling me Troublemaker. That, that is the name. I want the name Troublemaker. You know, because I told y'all Donald Tate the third was my uh, slave name. And it is. And y'all know where we get these first and these last names from. And uh, I, I need another name, man. But Troublemaker, because I'm here to cause trouble, but in a positive way. You know? Peace.